pretty gnarly teeth. That's something that male salmon grow when they come back to the fresh water. It's not something they have their whole life. So that's new. So when salmon live in the ocean, they're these really bright, silvery, um, good for eating fish. When they come back to the fresh water, they can't survive in the fresh water anymore. Not only do they start to die and deteriorate, it's a kind of gross rotting process, but they also go through these phase, crazy physical changes. So they lose their silvery scales. The males get these hooked noses with these teeth. The male pinks get a humped back. The females get bellies full of eggs, but they'll have smaller faces. So you can really tell not only the sexes apart, but you can also tell the species apart based off of their coloration. You can see it's not very silver anymore. And so what we'll do with the females is pull them out of the water and literally club them. It's like a bash on the head. It's a really quick euthanization process. In the wild, again, it's a kind of a, they rot to death. Salmon only spawn once in their life. So we're making it a little bit more humane for everybody here. And then for the females, we'll cut open their bellies and we'll take the eggs out. We'll literally remove the eggs, put them in a bucket, and then we bring along these males here. And they also get clubbed, so it's the same treatment. And then we'll squeeze their bellies to get the milk to come out, which is fish sperm. I think this guy was already spawned, but we can see if he has any left over in him. Ah! Did everybody see that? Yeah. <laughs> that was crazy! It just like shoots right out. So this gets mixed into the bucket with the eggs. And so we'll mix together the eggs and the milk and we'll end up with fertilized. It takes like 15 seconds for those eggs to fertilize. And then we'll have those, we'll fer those fertilized eggs will go in incubators. They'll be in our basement for about six months. And this guy along with all the other carcasses, will be shipped off to a seafood processing plant on the island, probably ground up and turned into pet food. Maybe you have a dog or cat at home that eats wild Alaskan salmon. Come into a bowl near you. <laughs> Any questions about that process?